So I talk on the channel all the time regarding detailing business stuff, particularly building up your maintenance client list, and I wanna share with you guys why I actually stopped taking maintenance clients in my detailing business. Now, before we get into the content really quickly, I just wanted to make sure you guys know down below in the YouTube description box, there's a link to register for a live free training I'm hosting on May 11th. And basically, we're gonna be talking about how to scale to $100,000 a year using ceramic coatings and shifting your focus from just detailing to actually higher ticket services. I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how to bring in customers online, how to do this for free without paid ads, without a bunch of fly without having to detail nasty cars eight hours a day. And it's been over a year since I've actually hosted this training, so make sure you register with the link below before the spots fill up. But you're also gonna get a chance to actually get certified to use professional grade ceramic coatings for free when you attend. So make sure you guys do that. Now let's get into the content. Now for those of you who don't know, a maintenance client is nothing more than a detailing client who you see on a regular basis, right? So most detailers in their businesses really struggle to bring in customers. I also struggled to bring in customers for most of my business in the beginning stages. And what I realized was, oh, if I wanted to make more money, I could actually just create recurring recurring revenue where I could predict what I would make next month because I saw the same customers over and over again. And so in the beginning stages of my business, I built up over $7,500 a month worth of maintenance clients. And that $7,500 a month scaled up over time, obviously, but that initial $7,000 plus from just recurring payments is what allowed me to actually start to grow my business without having to worry about where my next customer would come from. So you might be wondering, well, why would you stop taking on maintenance clients like this? Well, I want to do just a little bit of math for you really quick. For the sake of the math we're going to do, we're going to make the number is extremely, extremely simple. So let's just say I have 10 maintenance clients, customers per month, and each of these pay me $100. So obviously per month, I'm making $1,000 from maintenance clients. Now, as you build this list up and you make your first $1,000 from maintenance clients, your first instinct is to build this up and build this up and build this up. So let's just say that I 5X this, okay? Now, obviously, if you're charging more than $100, which I suggest, you will be making more money. But again, I'm making the numbers simple. Let's just say I multiply all of this by five. And so what I've done is create $5,000 per month in maintenance client revenue. The problem is this number does not scale up indefinitely because you run out of hours in the day. So let's just pretend that each maintenance client takes you two hours per client. And then let's say, like I said in the beginning, we're doing 10 per month, but then we scale up to 50 per month because we 5X that. So we've got two hours times 50. You're talking about 100 hours per month in order to do that $5,000. Now you guys see the obvious problem that eventually comes down the road in that if you're going to scale this up, you can literally do two things and two things only. You can outsource the work and make other people do it for you, or you can charge more money. The problem of course with charging more money is that there's only a certain amount of money and there's an upper limit to it of what the average customer is going to be willing to pay for a maintenance detail. So scaling up your maintenance client list is a fantastic way to scale up that three to $7,000 a month in recurring revenue mark. But once you hit that and you're trying to pass 10,000, 20,000, $30,000 a month, the only way to do it, like I said, is to either increase customers and outsource the work or of course to increase prices. So the question becomes, how do I increase my prices so that I actually am making more per hour and I'm working the same amount of hours, but creating more value and receiving more money for those hours. The simple answer is we have to change the type of product we're giving to the customer and the perceived value of that product has to change as well. It has to go up. If my customers have an upper limit of maintenance detailing prices that they're willing to pay, let's say it's $150, then I have to offer them something that they're willing to pay more for. And this is why years ago in my business, I shifted my focus very heavily onto ceramic coatings and paint correction and scaling that part of my business. And I actually stopped taking on new maintenance clients because I knew it wasn't going to get me where I wanted to go because I'd already used that strategy to hit the mark that I wanted to hit. Now, I know this is obvious, but let's just do the same scenario here. 10 customers per month at $100 each. That means from maintenance clients, we're doing $1,000 per month on recurring revenue, right? This is on repeat. Let's just pretend we're doing 10 ceramic coatings per month and each ceramic coating conservatively costs $1,000. All of a sudden, we just scaled up to $10,000 per month in our detailing business business without outsourcing work and trying to create an employee and figure out how to pay them and do all that stuff. Without finding 50 or 100 new customers, we're dealing with the same 10 customers and we've scaled up to literally five figures of monthly income. Now this is important because when I made this shift in my detailing business, my problems started to shift. So I was making money doing ceramic coatings. I was making money bringing customers in, but I didn't have a machine that brought customers to me. And the immediate problem I ran into is how do you sell a ceramic coating to a customer where they actually see the perceived 
value in order to pay for that thing, to hand money to you so that you can actually do the service and build your business. Well, the reality is it's a very difficult thing to try to chase customers down, convince them, sell them. And the fact is I was a detailer. I didn't want to have to focus on selling and all that sort of stuff. I just wanted to do the work. And the reality is I knew that if I was spending my time trying to chase customers around and bring them to me rather than actually doing the work and building my business, then I was wasting my time on something that would never build my business. I didn't have time to hand flyers out, to do business cards, to pay for social media advertising, and to do things the old fashioned way. And so I developed something called the C3 method that actually brings customers to me who want ceramic coatings before I ever have to talk to them or have to sell them. In other words, the ceramic coating customers who come to me are already sold, they're already ready to spend money, they're in my local area and they want a ceramic coating. I don't have to sell them and I don't have to go find them. And by the way, I use completely free platforms online in order to do this. And so I'm going to be sharing with you guys on May 11th all of these strategies in a step-by-step -step formula and a proven system that'll take you guys from zero, no detailing business at all, to six figures in annual income. Or if you've already started your detailing business, I'm gonna teach you how to integrate ceramic coatings for free and how to break down all the traditional barriers that have been in the detailing industry that keep you from doing this. We're gonna show you guys how to do it for free, how to bring in customers without having to sell them, how to do this with certification if you want it, and many, many other things. Stuff like this is not stuff that really anybody is talking about. And the reality is I learned through a lot of trial and error and I wasted a lot of money doing it. And I don't want you guys to have to do that same thing. So you guys can sign up below this YouTube video to register your spot before those spots fill up because we do cap it out. And make sure to check your email afterwards for the unique Zoom link that is yours and yours alone that will allow you into the training on May 11th. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, can't wait for May 11th. Excited to see you guys there. And I'll see you in the next video.